Hello, and welcome to this Panel Pilot Ace tutorial using Ethernet. To begin this tutorial, we are first going to create the visual elements. To do so, add a trend graph to the project. Make the dimensions 996 by 500. Make the position 15 by 83. Next, add a text box to the screen. Make the position 30 by 12, the dimensions 180 by 40, the text 0, 0.00, align to the right, make the color red, and make the font size 34. Name it text box power. Copy and paste three more. Make one light blue. Make the position 250 by 12. And name it text box average power. Make the other one a lime green with a position of 470 by 12. Name it text box voltage. And make the other one yellow. With the position of 693 by 12. Name this text box current. Add labels underneath each. Zero, zero. Make the size 100 by 30. Make the position 30 by 55. Change the alignment to the left for the text boxes with the zeros. Then back to the label, make the color red and make the text power. Copy and paste three more. Change this text to power average. Make the box a little larger. Change the dimensions to 250 by 55. And change the color to the same blue. For the next one, change the text to V1 volts. Change the position to 470 by 55. Change the color to the same green again. Make the fourth V2 current with a position of 693 by 55 and also change the color to yellow. The next visual element we need to add is a rectangle. Change the position to 834 by 103. The dimensions 160 by 120. And change the color to a light yellow. Add a black border with a width of 1 and opacity of 30%. Add another text box and make the position also 834 by 103. The dimensions also 160 by 120. Make the text FTP upload. Center the text. Make the color a dark yellow this time. And make the font size 34. Name this text box button text FTP. At this point, all the visual elements are complete. Next, we are going to add the project variables we need for the project. The first project variable we need to add is an FTP variable. So right click on project variables and add FTP variable. The host is going to be 10.0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. 
0.4.18. The type is going to be SFTP. The user is pptest. And the password is going to be 1234. The remote path is test. And the upload file account is 5. The second project variable we need is a log variable. So again, right click on project variables and add log variable. Name it log variable power with a maximum of 10,000 data points, append the rollover behavior, an interval of 3,000 milliseconds, and a start delay of zero. The project variable is another log variable. Name this log variable power average. Again, the only thing you need to change is the interval to 3,000 milliseconds. At this point, the project variables are complete. Next, we will move on to the function and hardware elements needed for the project. The first hardware element needed is analog input. So go over to the library and add analog input. Name it analog input voltage with a minimum resolution of zero to five. Add another analog input. Name this analog input current. Make sure the channel is 2 and make the resolution from 0 to 5 again. The final hardware element needed is an Ethernet port. So add the Ethernet port hardware element. Make the type dynamic, the timeout 1000 milliseconds, and the number of trials 1. Next, add a math builder to the project. Add three values. Make this a little larger. Make the first the function get log average. The second expression should be log variable power average. And the third should be an end parentheses. Name this math builder average power. Next, add a string converter. Name this string converter average power. Make the type element property the element math builder average power in the property value of float. Change the decimal places to 2. Make the prefix pot in the suffix w. Add another math builder to the project. Name this math builder power. Add three values. Make the element analog input voltage with a property of voltage. Make the second times and make the third element analog input current with a property of voltage. Make the decimal places negative one. Next we need to add another string converter. So add the string converter and name it string converter power. Make the type element property again. The element math builder power with a property of float value. Make the decimal places 2. And again the prefix should be pot with a suffix of w. Next, add an action set rule to the project. Name this logic action update. Add four expressions. Make the first variable text box power with a property of text. The value is going to be string converter power with a property of value. The second variable is going to be text box average power with a property of text. And the value is going to be string converter average power with a property of value. The third variable is going to be text box current with a property of text. The value is going to be analog input current with a property of voltage. 
The fourth variable is going to be text box voltage with a property of text. And it's going to be analog input voltage with a property of voltage. Next, we are going to add a property trigger to the project. Name this trigger current changed. Make the element analog input current with a property of voltage. And the action is going to be logic actions update. Add another property trigger. Name is property trigger voltage changed. Make the element analog input voltage with a property of voltage. Make the action schedule also logic action update. Add another action set rule to the project. Name this logic action upload complete. Add an expression. Make the variable button text FTP with the property of text. Make the value a string and name it FTP upload and select OK. The next function element needed is an FTP upload. Make the Ethernet port the Ethernet port used previously. The FTP, the FTP variable. Make the log variable, log variable power and the complete action should be logic actions upload complete. Next, add a data logging function element. Name it data logging power. The log name should be data logging power with a log value of math builder power with a property of float value. The log variable should be log variable power. Add another data logging element. Name this data logging average power. Name this also data logging average power with a log value of math builder average power with a property of float value. The log variable is going to be a log variable average power. The final function element needed is a button. Let's add a button to the project. Name this button, button upload. The visual element is going to be button text FTP. When pressed, it will change the text to uploading. And when clicked, it will perform FTP upload. Now to tie everything together, go back to the trend graph and then the data logging section, select data logging power. This project is now complete. Thank you for watching this panel pilot ACE tutorial and I hope to see you in the next video.